uh, shoots. Probably picked a relatively bad time to start this little journey. Hello gang, and welcome back once again to The Long Dark. I'm Lonely Wolf, and we are back with our Interloper playthrough as we continue our journey to Timberwolf Mountain. Hopefully there's no other wolves closer. There's not, because Mr. Bear's right there. It's fine. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Are you a big friendly yogi huggy bear today? Yeah? Are you trying to say hi? Hi! Hi! It's also brutally cold, it's only negative three. He's hungry, man. Look, buddy, I know you're starving, but like there's wolves to eat and berries and... You know, there's just stuff around. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dinner. Oh, I just gotta tell that to this wolf up here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna lose a fair bit of condition to the cold. But that's fine. It's fine. Ah. Uh, shoots. Probably picked a relatively bad time to start this little journey. Having all of these guys so close at once. It's not so helpful. No, no, not at all. Ooh, saplings. I brought a hacksaw. We could get saplings, you know. But. Shoots. I would have to kill the wolf in order to safely get the saplings. We already passed the one and only tree that's nearby. We'll just have to know the saplings are here. We're probably going to have to shoot this wolf anyway. At some point, because he's probably going to end up charging me. Unless we can find another tree or something close by to deke him out with. Which, I don't think is going to happen. That's five birch saplings, that's 15 more arrow shafts. That would be nice. If we come back this way, which is incredibly likely once we're done at Timberwolf Mountain, we'll definitely make a stop and get those saplings. I did bring saplings with, so I have I have a I have a, a maple sapling to make a bow, and I have three birch saplings, so we can make arrow shafts. So we'll, we'll be fine. We don't need those right now. Um, that'd be nice though. As long as we come back this way, we'll be okay. I forget how cold Pleasant Valley is, and it's not a good indication of what it's going to be like for us on a team by other wolf. Did we lose the wolf? We kind of did. This is why I'm such a big fan of the method called the walk and talk. It's a very good method. You walk, and you talk, and slowly but surely, Mr. Waffle loses interest and is gone. And you're on your way, beautifully and happily. And isn't the... the cabin's further this way, right? The Draft Dodger's cabin. It's up this way off the bridge. Right? We want to stop in there, because A, I haven't visited yet, and we might find something nice. And is that another sapling? Hold up. Also, more food. I brought plenty of birch tea, so whatever condition we lose, we can just regain. There's the bridge. Yeah, we're close to Draft Dodgers. I think that's a birch. One singular birch off on its lonesome. Odd. Would rather kind of have hoped for some maple, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. I 
I will gladly take it. Not like those five back there, but this with those five makes 18 new arrows. Alright, where is my rest? Right in here. Right? Oh no, this is the wrong bridge for resting. I'll put more saplings. Okay, so... Decision time. Head up to Timberwolf Mountain right now? And head to the abandoned prepper cache and skip a run in the morning? Could do, could do. Just nipped over here and get these saplings real quick though. If we head up this way, we're gonna have to deal with wolves. Not this way, that way. If we head up that road, we're gonna have wolves. It's a, it's a given. But saplings first. We have the condition to burn. I'm not gonna drink any birch till we get somewhere safe because there's no point. We're still freezing. It's oh, it's up up to one degree. Congratulations. These are maple saplings. So we'll be able to make four total new bows. Plus, well, I still have maple saplings hiding around other places. And I could just keep grabbing materials after materials, but again, we're cold, so we have to focus on the priority at hand. While it's nice to know there's more materials available to snag, we, uh, we're on a timer. We're hemorrhaging 20% condition an hour. We can only be outside for five hours before death. We have already hemorrhaged a good portion, probably 15%. So it's time to focus on the objective and head up to the abandoned prepper cache and stay the night. Okay, they're up that way behind me. What about in front? We head up towards Skeeter's Ridge. Guaranteed wolves up here. You really want me to kill you, don't you? You really do. I would love to, too. Your hide would be nice. Your meat would be nice to keep me belly full. But I don't want to be in Pleasant Valley any longer than I need to be. I have an objective at, at hand. And that's to get to Timberwolf Mountain. If it kills me. It did last run! Although well, that's because I got stupid with the wolves. Very easily could have handled that. That was my own stupidity. I can't really say it was due to Timberwolf Mountain. So. Is what it is. As always, very beautiful snowy day. Very enjoyable. Just gotta keep the scan out for wolves. But we seem to be okay. For now. Some rabbits. I haven't approached Timberwolf Mountain from this angle in forever. Am I far enough forward or am I too far back? It's a good question. It's definitely not where I need to be. I need to be further forward, don't I? I need to head up there. Yes, I do. Alright. Also explains the wolf howling. And yes, I saw that birch sapling, but again, we gotta focus on the objective. We have a place to be. Before we freeze. Oh yeah, we're totally too far back. I'm gonna put that 
cliff over there. We have to be higher and further over. Here we are. Okay, I know where we are. We're in the veil. If you remember our stalker run, uh, this is where we lost a wolf that we had shot in this area. Um, down in this little pocket. If we continue along and across this pocket, off on our right will be Skeeter's Ridge. And up on our left we'll come up to a hunter's blind. And beyond the hunter's blind we'll uh, come across... Um, there's a cave here too if we wanted to stop and rest. We don't. We really don't. I've never seen the bear in this cave. I know it is a bear cave, but I have never seen Yogi up here. This is a first in all my runs. No, scratch. There have been a few where I've seen him, but it's been forever. It's been years since I've seen Yogi up here. Luckily, he's dumb and slow and hasn't caught us yet, so we're fine. Skeeter's Ridge right over there. Wolves. Up ahead, Hunter's Blind. And currently freezing our tail off at 5 degrees. This doesn't really bode well for Timberwolf Mountain now, does it? It's alright. We'll get there, we'll get out. We'll get our gear. We'll get a second wolf coat while we're there. Everything will be fine. We could check out Skeeter's Ridge, but not today. There's no point to. Very limited shot at loot over there, plus the wolves to contend with. It's just not worth it. So had I continued straight forward past those maple saplings we found earlier, I would have come across Draft Dodger's Cave, but for some reason I thought we had hit the wrong bridge. But no, we had hit the right bridge. It was the correct bridge. It was me who was wrong. It's a ravaged deer carcass? To collect food or not to collect food? That is the question. We have one uh, deer steak left. We have plenty of cattails. We'll get more as we arrive at Timberwolf. Question. I could always light a fire. We have the pot Oh, it's not the deer carcasses. It's the guy. That's right. Never mind. Scratch that thought. It was a good thought. But not applicable. Alright, we're to the hunter's blind. Which means safety and shelter is literally a stone's throw away. Saplings. We're going to be set for a long time with the amount of materials I've just gotten. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh, and an arrow guide? Oh. Are, this, this, these are blessings. Great and magnificent. When is the bill coming due? Shortly, I would assume, or I'm currently paying it right now on the price of my own life by being so cold. So many new arrows. There's our rope. Brings the abandoned prepper cache is just over this rise. And we are arriving at our destination. We could go inside and get warm, but now nah, let's let's be gluttons for punishment. Let's go straight in and find what firewood's available first. 
Yeah, see, I thought I was at that bridge that's down there and coming up that road, but no, I was at the right bridge, the bridge I thought I was originally at. But you know me and my mind thinking, ha, ah, fat chance, we, we're not that far forward. Or we are that far forward, ha. Huh? I don't need that recycled can, but I just want all the goods for right now. Alright, we spent enough time in the cold, let's let's warm up. It is now 8 degrees outside towards the end of the- oh. This does not bode well, guys. Not well at all. It's okay, I mean... Today would have been a great day to be hunting because it's nice and clear out, but... Objectives, objectives, objectives. not bring a pry bar. I probably should have. I knew these lockers would be here, but again, at the rates of which there's even goods and things, it's probably not even worth it. It's probably worth saving the pry bar to do fishing much later on. Though fishing's rather uh, not very valuable and interloper just due to the nature of things. I'm already at fire level 3, aren't I? We'll figure that out in a second. Some calories in us and some condition restore. It's only a little bit. I could use this. That's a good backup to have. So uh, essentially, we're looking at there being absolutely nothing in here at all. Oh, okay. That seems about fair. Alright. Uh, status. Gladys. We are at level 3 on fire starting. We're almost at level 2 on mending. Archery's at level 3. We got a book. We can boost that pretty well. Cooking's to level 4, or past level 4. We're almost to level 5. Carcass harvesting has just crested it. Hmm. It's cooking. We're almost there. All time record is 66 days. We're not that far off. 27 more days. All right. Six more saplings, three more of these. Plenty of cloth, plenty of feathers, some nice cute guts. Book to read. Just go ahead and do two hours of reading. Condition restore go up. That's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Alright, uh, let's just step outside and then step back in to save. Also, I just want to see what it looks like outside temperature-wise now that we're in the latest portion of the day. Not in shelter of wind protection, 10 degrees. Not so hot. Not so hot. Alrighty, well, that's going to be it for this episode of The Long Dark. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay safe and stay warm out there.